And what, what do you call this program exactly? So this is called the Alpha Coach Elite Program. Okay. The idea is to make them really elite coaches who know their stuff, are able to manage it really well and market themselves. Okay. So uh, according to my experience, this is going to be a big opportunity for them. See, I generally don't promote any other courses, okay? I only started, you know, because I see a lot of worth in it. I know the trainers that K11, I mean K11 graduates will get benefited from it. Right. So, rather than me or K11 using our own brain, you guys have already had a product. I would love it to have my trainers take it. I am 100% sure that if someone implements everything that you have, you are going to teach them, they are going to have more clients and earn more money. Hi, um, I'm Kalyani Kapadia, I'm CEO of K11 and today I have with me CEO of Alpha Coach, Ketan. Today both of us are going to discuss one topic or morely I'm going to ask him a lot of questions which is related to personal trainers, growth and career aspects. Now since uh, 2003 we've been running K11 school and we have certified I think more than 30,000 trainers for sure by now. And the main pain point that I have observed with these trainers are uh, not knowing about business, not understanding marketing and uh, their branding. And it's, it's uh, with the expansion of fitness online platforms, it's, it's become a very, very important for personal trainers to know what and how to go about marketing and business. Now, K11 does not teach that. K11 teaches you the science of nutrition and fitness sciences and I've been really wanting to have this course for the trainers and I happened to meet Ketan uh, in one of uh, crunch event in Delhi and uh, spoke to him about the requirement of this and I'm going to start and he said hold on I'm going to work on that and I was most happy when I hear it because I don't think K11 is the most competent institute to start this course and uh, because we want to stick to our niche which is to fitness sciences and nutrition so ketan welcome thank and you so much i would like you to explain how you come up with this program what is this program exa exactly because i am excited to hear it as well thank you so much for having me uh, kalyani uh, this is actually a great opportunity and uh, a privilege to be partnering with you on this particular initiative so um, just a little background, right? Obviously, yes, uh, I completely agree with uh, you mentioning the hurdles and challenges that coaches face. They've been trained by uh, world-class institutes. They become very, very good trainers and nutritionists. But uh, when they go out into the world, then how do they actually conduct their business? How do they market themselves? How do they get the right leads and start growing their particular career is something that uh, I firsthand noticed. Uh, you know, in when I was running of my own. when you were running your outfit. Correct. So, we, I had a gym in the past and then I was running an online coaching business as well. So, uh, under the name of Alpha Coach, in, uh, you know. And uh, so, what happened was that I started to notice that these trainers were so incredibly good. But were just not able to talk to clients that well, understand how do they present their skill sets to them, how do they market them and say, you know, I'm the right coach to you. And of course, get more and more clients, you know, being not just signing up, but uh, being managed well, being uh, so therefore more retention rates and of course then referring more clients to them. So effectively it becomes a flywheel of sorts. Correct. So that's how I actually thought about this and therefore we sort of came up with this program which is literally, I mean we thought of, think of it as like a, an accelerated fitness MBA. Right. Because this is really the need of how and where the industry should naturally grow. Right. So you uh, said fitness MBA, it's the right word that you have actually used because that's what they need to learn. And they need to be a marketing expert in their own field. I mean, right. they don't need to know everything. So uh, can you explain me what it's, what are the concerns of personal trainers or what are the challenges that they face? Because uh, I know few, but I, I'm sure you handled online platform a lot more than we have. So what are the challenges or what are their concerns that you can solve them for uh, th sure. through this program? Sure. And wh what do you call this program exactly? So this is called the Alpha Coach Elite Program. Okay. The idea is to make them really elite coaches who know their stuff, are able to manage it really well and market themselves. Okay. 
So if you see the way the industry has progressed, right, uh, everything has gone digital, just like the rest of the world. So for example, if you want to buy movie tickets, you want to buy air tickets, you want to buy groceries, anything. you want to order food, everything is on an app these days. And fitness also, post-COVID especially, has now completely accelerated and people are doing a lot more stuff online. Your courses also are online, yes, right? A lot yes. of stuff that's happened. So, but one thing that changed was in the world of fitness is people tried to just try and replicate the experience they had uh, that their clients were getting in personal training and just tried to give the same experience online, which is like live Zoom training. Correct. Right? But there's another really big method that's been around globally for a while, which is called online coaching, which okay. essentially means that it's more like a consulting thing where you transfer your knowledge to the client, give them plans, this thing, and keep them accountable in a certain way. Okay. And in India also, you see <clears> large <throat> businesses that have been created, you know, there's a Healthify Me, there's a Fitter, etc., who have actually created a very, very large online, you know, millions of dollars of revenue already. And the way they do business and they do their marketing is very, very different from how, you know, the lakhs of personal trainers in India would do. Correct. Right, which is really just trying to ask for a referral through a client or making some feeble efforts to write marketing. So that is where we saw a really big gap. And you know, while there are so many trainers who have uh, you know who are trying to do this, and there is another big reason is that their salary, the average salary or income of a personal trainer, is as low as fifty thousand rupees if you just do a simple Google search across yeah. India. True. But there are also many, many good trainers who earn lakhs through multiple, whether it's online, offline, hybrid models, etc. Right? So the dearth or the or the challenge is not because they don't know how to be good trainers. It's just that they have not yet cracked how to do business and Correct. how to do marketing. Correct. Right? So what we're trying to do here, especially now with this partnership, is that we're trying to act as the natural extension of where you brought them. So you made them into, say, fitness graduates where yeah. they learned how to be a great world-class trainer and a nutritionist and now we're helping them to now I'm, I'm convert actually, that into a business. You know, I'm, I'm so glad to hear this because this is what they need. So I've seen a lot of personal trainers earning 2 lakhs, 3 lakhs, 5 lakhs rupees a month also. But when I link the link them together what i see is they have marketed themselves really well they Spot have created on. their own brand but that's their innate talent they have not taken a course i guess i'm, I'm assuming Correct. but uh, whoever i have spoken to they have just done what them felt right as a marketing so whoever is not being successful i'm sure this program is going to solve a lot of queries for them Yes, see, a lot of people definitely have created their personal brands, right? They'll have 50,000, 1 lakh, 5 lakh followers. But the larger people, number of people, need a system. They yeah. need a repeatable system to say, okay, these are the basic I, I steps I do. I am completely game for systems. So, I am the most systematic person you can get. So, I am very, very happy to know that. Very, very happy to know that. Great. So, can you tell me what's going to be your structure for the course? How it's going to be placed and how you run it and everything? Right. So, again, uh, a few stats here again. So, globally speaking, online courses, whether it's uh, any sort of education, whether it's uh, skill sets, whether it's fitness, anything, has a completion rate of only 7%. Uh, which okay. means... So, when, when you talk about online, can you please clarify? Because what we have is hybrid. So, we right. teach life. No, I'm not talking about live training. Okay. I'm not talking about in-person. I'm talking about purely online pre-recorded courses. For example, there is a site called Udemy, which has yeah, a lot of web course. courses that you can do on social media, on every subject that you can think of, right? All of these courses, generally speaking globally, have a completion of 7%, okay. which means 93% of the people have drop just out. blow off their money okay. because they paid for something. It may be cheap. It may be this thing, but they will just drop off and really not see any benefit. They just do it because they thought it might help and eventually didn't. So what we've done is we've taken a step ahead. We said, okay, let's break this into three parts. And uh, we made it into, of course, pre-recorded because that way we can help that many more students. So Correct. more students can actually do that. Therefore, we don't have a cap on the number of trainers or mentors that we can actually employ. B, there is a one-to-one -one mentoring by a dedicated mentor who will actually hold them accountable and handhold them so that they actually get the stuff done because it's an intensive course. It Correct. needs about 12 to 14 hours a week of work from them. And how do you know whether they have put in that much of work or not? I mean, just so, for me. Too. Yeah, so there is a complete learning management system which okay. allows us to track their progress to the last percentage, which lesson has been completed, how wow, many, that's exciting. How many uh, submissions have been done, how many exercises are there. 
and there's a weekly call constantly with the mentor so they actually take care of all of correct, that correct. plus there is also something called group accountability where the entire batch meets one at uh, one once a week and then everybody discusses what went well what didn't go well and therefore there's a good amount of you know uh, push from everybody yeah. so that everybody evolves and right. becomes better it's over time it's a peer pressure yes in a good way in a good way yeah yes. of course in a good way so uh, that's a good thing what i also would like to know and everybody would also have this question on their mind who all can join this course and um, uh, so what i've understood from it is it's an online training concept so can a trainer who's not uh teaching online okay because i know quite a few who want to stick to their uh, offline training programs can they join this course will they will it help them yeah so while it might sound like this is purely for online coaching and say most of it is say given such that they can now scale up and you know add another big layer of income mm-hmm. and you know uh, business to their particular current career uh the concepts are primarily very basic fundamentals of business and marketing so i right? assume the systems he can adapt to everything so from understanding what is your actual niche so if there's a personal trainer who trains everybody under the sun he's not really figured out his particular niche of something like that or if there's a girl who is a fitness trainer and she is uh, trying to figure out how to price her services then this is again helpful for her Correct. right so everything from um, uh, figuring out your pricing as i mentioned figuring out your niche how to do basic marketing how to think of your career as a business all of those become very very common across all formats mm-hmm. and it's not restricted to only this correct having said that if somebody does this course then they also get to know okay now if i've got a certain level at personal training how can i add more blocks to my income such that i can scale it up you know very easily Hmm. Uh, or rather not easily but simply, simply. Uh, because you have to have to do a hard work in every particular thing right so uh, so i'm what makes the point is clear that a person who's doing offline training can join this course absolutely so he can get few insights into the online training but the systems that you would provide them with can be implemented to his uh, to his, everything to absolutely everything. how yeah. to sell to a client yeah. right how to actually take care of their clients their check-ins everything works for all the formats okay and i've written it down like a, you know i'm from old school so i love to re- write it everything i had so. one question for you though <laughs> okay so so you've been in the industry for like two decades right, right. um so i want to pick your brain to think about what do you think you mentioned you have also witnessed some problems and challenges so right you know i would tell you face. first case that i witnessed ever was my own because i did not know how to market myself i was very bad at it and uh, i was the so as you know i was one of the 11 people who worked with kaiza then i was the last one to join him and last one to get a personal trainings and that also uh, i got it on my own and that point so i i used to feel bad that why i am the one who's getting the and i was pretty good in my knowledge and i would debate a lot with my colleagues and everything when i got my first client i realized that Uh, there is something called as a marketing so because i was from commerce background but i had forgotten everything about that so i said yes i did not market myself i didn't add to my uh, skill set you know talk, uh, and i couldn't talk that time because i was from vernac medium and talking english was a big thing for me so but slowly slowly you know i gathered the courage and started marketing so i realized at very early that marketing is something that you have to take care if you got a skill set of other uh, you know other um, uh, kind of your career options right so and when i started working with k11 that time every time a personal trainer could come to kaiza then say ki sir mujhe clients nahi mil rahe kaiza would always tell him one thing tu market kar raha hai kya khud ko are you selling yourself to jaise kaiza bolta tha ki are you selling yourself are sir sales mera kaam nahi hai so then kaizad used to sit and explain them how sales is his work and how him selling himself is not a bad thing but promoting his own services to earn the bread and butter so every personal trainer had a negative connotation attached to sales correct because maybe whatever they have experience in the industry before so what i 
we understood and kaizad and we started taking efforts towards it so we had a business lecture in the course but you know you can't teach that in one lecture you can just give them a brief introduction of what you mean by business and what you mean by marketing so we skip that lecture because it was not satisfactory you right. know so when, whenever you teach something it has to satisfy you oh, i have done a good job so then we started a gym management course which really ran well for a long time we could teach people how to market the gym how to sell the gym sell the gym and uh, after that we stopped it because i was personally involved and then i could not do it anymore but all along my journey i have seen these two points three points actually understanding how to start an outfit marketing and sales it's been the most um, not i mean most points that have not been uh, given importance to by the personal trainers and earlier kaizad used to do it but now i meet every week two or three trainers to tell them how to market themselves how to so and basic things i tell them about instagram and something and that also they see some results there right. are some people who are persistent who keep doing it and see the but if you going to hand hold them and get it done for them it's going to make a big difference in their career so uh, according to my experience this is going to be a big opportunity for them see i generally don't promote any other courses okay i only started you know because i see a lot of worth in it i know the trainers that k11 i mean k11 graduates will get benefited from it right so rather than me or k11 using our own brain if you guys have already had a product i would love it to have my trainers take it that's great i think you mentioned a very very good uh, point sales generally is got a bad rap like very people associated it very negatively because they you know the old school people who are constantly calling you you get calls every day from at least 10 people yeah yeah and but what people fail to uh, realize that you're selling every minute of your life yeah either you're selling from a for a promotion you're selling for getting a raise you're selling a product which is the most uh, known fact yeah. or you're selling something or the other in every way right so whether it's even with a colleague you're trying to make your point across that's same that's still trying to sell an idea your to somebody idea right or your concept anything everything everything but the thing is that what happens is that while some people have done well like you said have they marketed well like you said a few people have actually done that most people think of sales or social media also as that they are going to go out and post regularly Yeah. and the and the only example i give people is that imagine you're currently unknown and you go into a party and there are 100 people out there you don't know anybody and you just go out and say what you want to is are people actually going to listen to you most likely not right but if you go and find and there will be say 20 groups of five people amongst whom there is one say person who is well known so would be the influencer from a social media perspective and say they are talking about something but you go in that circle and you you know what's being spoken about and start giving your point of view right and over time when you start doing this a lot the other people who are listening in which are the other people who say like that post or commented on that post start noticing that you know hey you know ketan said something very interesting and let's start following what he actually has to say on his page correct and that then becomes what we have termed or other it's a, it's a it's a term which is called attraction marketing how do you sell subconsciously where people are drawn to you Correct. such that whether today or 3 years later when they sub, you know decide to take that fitness journey it's they think of mind. you yeah it's in their mind yeah so it's a top of mind marketing where people don't know how to do that so yeah. how do you sell without being salesy or that cringe people think oh i can't sell so, that, so what they talk about is a hard sell yes what we are not doing it they think of ads directly yeah they ads or you know those cold calls which comes and then they push you push you so that is not what we want the trainers right. to do either right so guys i always used to say uh, that you educate and you make a sell because you give them you know have a transparency in your information and your sale is already done you don't even know so we have an entire chapter on how to do old school marketing oh. you know how where in the before the age of social media you had phone directories right so actually open and you would start calling yeah yeah of course but today you don't want to do that you don't want to be a cold caller right so how do they actually start making their big list and then how do they ask very genuine questions about how are you doing etc and then just because of the reciprocity the other person will ask you a similar question how are you what are you up to now 
and then mm, that's like an opening of a door or an invitation to say oh you know what i'm doing yeah. personal training yeah. i'm doing this or i'm doing online and leaving coaching. a thought there you know yes and you then they ask you and then it becomes top of mind to at least hundreds of people and you do that like a system right this is where the actual work sort of you know happens correct, with the coaches correct correct so i'm more excited to know uh, though you had briefed me in our last meeting uh, what is the curriculum of the course i mean you know uh, i'm very excited to know about that so what we've done is we've done it like a five step process okay right effectively so that there's a very step wise progression towards learning something from something very basic to how do you eventually launch and scale that business first step is about the basics of coaching whether it's online coaching whether it's understanding what it is so like from the point of what is online coaching how do you do it properly everything and then how do you actually structure your business how do you actually understand how what is the time value of your money hmm. how do you actually think about what is a break even point or a break even this thing so you are giving them kind of structure in the first module yeah right? the entire first module is to just start mentally thinking about it as a business correct. that's the main correct. point correct there. correct so now i kind of want to ask you social media is a big thing now right. i mean it's it's uh, come up in a way that you can't market without it now you can't even think about marketing without it if you say market it has to be first social media and then other platforms now so how do you make them so i think that's going to be your model two yes and uh, w- what are you going to teach in that how are you going to make them uh, you know efficient and uh, confident to market online perfect perfect so social media is a necessary evil yeah but also a big boon because what yeah. it does is that it it's, effectively allows you to it's how you use it yeah effectively allows people to reach you regardless of where they are geographically what time zone they are in whether you know they are able to meet you in person at a certain time none of that matters now they can look at your profile asynchronously and they can see it from wherever in the world so that's the best thing that's actually happened but a lot of us also waste a lot of time on social yeah. media scrolling through stuff so what we've actually done is in that particular thing is we've started telling them how to set up their social media profiles in the first place correctly what do you say in the heading Correct. what do you say in the tagline do you know how to make it more crisp how to avoid the mistakes that a lot of people make and then how to replace the time spent scrolling to actually make it fruitful for your business Correct. right so there's an entire hand holding video of how to do all of this stuff mm. including with with screen shared you know the points and tips Correct. and everything Correct. right and then what we've done is we've also helped them to use the latest tools like we were discussing chat gpt yeah. <laughs> how do they actually create a 30 day calendar for themselves how do they actually then create content for every single day using gpt making it their own and personalizing including generating images with resources given for each thing so that they're never short of that Correct. right in fact in step 5 we've also given them 250 plus media posts wow that they so can just simply copy so you are basically with. teaching them how to plan also when you are planning teaching... implementation and staying consistent everything okay. so so when you say social media you mean to say linkedin facebook instagram everything and twitter and twitter okay so now called x so um, another important point that i feel they don't know is i have i've spoken about it but how do you uh, um, explain them the whole sales process and marketing and everything because once i uh, if i go through the flow first i set up my business i understand how to do the social media marketing what are the other parts of marketing and sales that are connected that you take care of i mean in the course correct so um, that's again now there's step 3 to that right so effectively or the or the module 3 is all about how do you think of it as a business like now we also we did a solid foundation in the beginning correct we thought about setting up your social media now how do you actually structure your business such that you are able to now sort sort start to see your sales correct so everything from building or naming your business forget right. the with the beginning everything from how to name your business how to price your packages how to do a discovery call if somebody inquires about you how to reach out to hundreds of people to stay top of mind how to then um, you know do your first coaching call after you signed in up how to make programs for them that actually work and how to monitor their things and then how to retain and get referrals so entire thing is built around that and all of this if you realize has some touch point to an external person where you're always either reaching out to a mass of people from where you get some leads then from those leads you do calls 
then from those calls you get some potential clients, clients or right. prospects then you convert them to a client and then those clients will get you more referrals so it's a constant process Processing. which is a step wise process that they need yeah. to do so what what's coming to my mind is uh, are you suggesting them the systems also to use for that like ER, uh, sorry the crms and everything so would you be suggesting them or yeah we have also we've also listed out the softwares that they may be able to use to be able to do it but honestly until they get to 20 30 40 clients i'm sure with your program they are going to reach soon yeah so so, so there are multiple softwares right there globally there are but softwares do you recommend them right absolutely so but only once they've reached a certain stage until then they should not invest the time because there's a, there is a cost, of course, of a subscription. B, there is a learning curve to that thing. Okay. So until they've decided, okay, I want to be in online coaching, I want to get the next 50, 100 clients, then after the 20, 25th client, they should invest into something, something. Like this for sure. Okay. And you will guide them if they come Absolutely. back to you, right? Yes. Uh, one more thing is I wanted to know what I, what kind of support that they get from you when they are going through this course. Like, uh, I mean, when K-11 students are here, we have entire support department for them. Right. So what kind of support uh, they will get when they join up for this course? So throughout their course journey, which is about a six-week course, uh, they will get a one-to-one -one mentoring over WhatsApp. There's a WhatsApp group created along with uh, the senior members in our faculty and uh, the mentors that are there and along with the student. They are also part of a WhatsApp group along with other batchmates who have joined for that particular batch. Right? And eventually we are also creating a Facebook access group for lifetime access. So okay. any questions at any time they can always drop them there and, and somebody will answer, answer it of yeah. course. From okay. So they will also be in touch with their mentors for initial Absolutely. Uh, okay. Very good. So one more thing I want to know. I mean because I don't know much about it so I am going to ask a lot of questions. So you uh, run a pilot batch right? Right. And uh, can you give me some kind of insights into that? Who was the best performing candidate sure. or what was his uh, you know experience after he executed everything as per what you told them? Right. So we, we started a pilot batch about six weeks back uh, and uh, we've just now completed that. We have about uh, two girls and five boys in that batch. And uh, one of them is a yoga teacher, one of them is, uh, you know, who also does his father's business and doing online coaching. Somebody is a bodybuilder who's competed on stage. So very different, different. sort of, of this thing. Yeah, yeah. And each of them now have been able to define their very, very particular niche as to who they serve. So the bodybuilding person will help athletes get on stage. Very okay. crisp, very this thing. So it could be male, female, whatever age, Whoever. but his niche is he can help them get on stage. The yoga teacher will help. Um, new mothers in their postnatal journey right. to lose weight and become you know stronger get back their energy and we help them craft all of this stuff for them Correct. and then the person who for example manages father business he wants to help men between 20 and 30 to lose weight look good and feel good so that they get great uh, you know they look good and feel good for their marriage eventually right. we want to get married so they've got their niches defined they've got this thing and between in the last six weeks and since they started the best has been about 21 clients, the least have they got about 5 clients at good rates and they've okay. more between added about 30 to 40 percent to their income to more than double their income. Wow. Right. So one of the coaches they mentioned he got 21 clients in about 5 weeks time. Wow. So he did everything what you taught him. You made sure he did. Yeah. <laughs> I, of course you have to do that. I mean yes. one thing that I have seen with trainers and that you have to push them to do marketing and sales. Yes. They don't do it otherwise. I mean, I have this experience, so I'm sure you are really pushing them to... So, the good part is the way the whole program is structured is that they don't have to think about 20 different doors that they need to pass through. They need right. to think about one door, you open it, they right. see, oh, they get one arm moment, oh, this works. Okay. Then there's somebody who says, you know, the next door is that side, why don't you go and open that one door? Step at and time. slow and steady, they start getting confidence and we've got social media activity from step one, which is the first week that they start off. Right. And there is a very simple exercise that they need to do and every week it compounds so they're, they're doing with five uh, they have to do five activities in week one it's 10 15 20 25 and therefore by then they're spending one to two hours just reaching out to people and by then they realize oh you know what there was a reason we've done this and it was not just a random exercise or an activity and it was that big aha moment that allows them to get perfect, these clients. perfect so uh, what do you think the website role is in all this uh, training and teaching so the website, so yeah, in step five, we actually give them that. So it's a great question. So we actually give them their own brand name website, as long right. as obviously the name is available. So it could be ketanfitness.com. 
right? The idea is that you want to give them a very, very professional shop that they want to think. So in the offline world, you have a, a store, store which has a great branding, it has a big name, it has everything, it tells you what it does. And then there's a layout inside the store that makes it, that makes people want to buy from them, right? right? So it's all the aesthetics in there. In the website, what we do is that we help them choose the right colors, choose the right name, choose the right uh, content that's there, how do they define the niche, what sort of images, what testimonials, where everything will come across. And then that becomes their professional shop, if you will, to be able to market that properly. So uh, it's safe to say that by the end of the program, they will have their own website. Yes. In week five, we actually sit with them, work with them to create their entire website. And we give them all of the done for you content. So from okay. templates on to how to ask clients for testimonials, how to announce um, your program on Facebook, how to uh, link uh, your surveys that you want to create so that you get Correct. gather what people want. Correct. You know, everything and everything has been given with the actual template, with an example. It's become very important, you know, to understand online what the clients are thinking and the surveys are really helping. Yeah, that. we want coaches to start getting this thing rather than them thinking what because the same messages will help hundreds of thousands of coaches True. so we made it for them so they can just go out and start using it good good very glad to know uh, is this going to be your assist or a non assist program we're going to have an exercise at the end of it which will be basically assessed but not really uh, uh, i would say this is more to do with assessment on a weekly basis with their mentor uh, yeah so if there is that, assessment absolutely. the mentor will assess them uh, maybe not the mcq or like that but yeah, it will not be a formal exam, exam but we are actually going to make sure that they do all the exercise and submissions before we actually okay. give them a fully uh, before we give them a certificate so they, there is a certificate in yes right? we'll call it a certificate in fitness business something like that so uh, also i want to know uh, that uh, you know, uh, how does one connect and uh, with you to register for this program? So we will be sending them a link to a landing page on which there is a very detailed training video that we've made so that they understand everything there is about the program. What are the problems that they face? Some of which we've discussed today. Uh, what are the old ways that they used to do things, you know, which is very hit and miss or, you know, shooting in the dark sort of a method. What are the new ways that successful coaches or large companies now do and how we can help them build the systems and the processes so they can also now become successful. And after they see the video, there is a simple, there's a button where they can simply click it and book a call with us. And one of our course counselors will speak with them, understand their need, their requirements, their ability to do the course and spend the time. It'll, it'll need some work, right, like I mentioned. Right. Um, and then... Up, and then they can apply and we can we can do Perfect. the admission. And them. when is it the first batch? We'll be starting off uh, as soon as uh, two weeks, maybe in the, the first oh, week of August. August. Okay, great. Now, I, I mean, I have asked all the relevant. One thing that I want to understand is uh, after doing everything, I'm sure their monetary income is going to go higher, right? Right. Okay. And uh, means uh, you have already seen that from the pilot batch that you have run. You know, when we spoke last time, you had mentioned about uh, the something about giving money back. If it's a guarantee, yeah. So, so yeah. Can, you, can you please explain that? Yes. So essentially, what we've done is we've built a very, very fundamental course, ground up. That if if they follow even 70, 80 percent of it, they should be able to get enough money that pays back the entire course fee within 90 days. Perfect. Right? So what we've said is that, listen, here's the thing. We're so confident of this course that if you do all the work, of course, that you're supposed to do, and if you implement everything that we've done in the in your social media, and you know, then, and if you still cannot get at least five good clients at, at the rates prescribed in the program, then we're happy to give you all your money back, your entire course fee back, no questions asked. Wow. <laughs> so that's really going to work. For people who are investing, because I'm sure I, I'm I'm hundred percent sure that if someone implements everything that you have, you're going to teach them. They are going to have more clients and earn more money. So this money back guarantee will also uh, make you know, I mean, kind of give a guarantee to your course, saying, you know, I'm confident about my course. Absolutely. Great, great, good to know. And anything else you want to add about the course that I have not asked you or certain things that something I missed out on or anything, any other detail? No, I think we covered a fair bit. The idea here is to really give them everything they need to set up their business and really make them successful. We just want them to actually 
finally go and start earning what their true potential is because I think they're world-class trainers out there. It's just that there's a big gap between what we believe they should be earning and what, what they, they currently are. are earning. And the main gap is honestly business and marketing. Perfect. And with this knowledge and this, you know, equipped with these tools, I think if they can go out and do that, then our purpose and our mission is accomplished. I'm, I'm so happy to hear that. So I would want most of K-11 students to get enrolled for this course. And as you know, there is a money back guarantee. So you don't have to worry. Just implement what they have said and you're going to make money. Uh, Ketan, thank you so much for coming here today, spending time and uh, for K-11 students and letting them know what kind of course you're launching. And uh, I hope, I wish you all the best and I don't hope but I know this course is going to take off very well. So, wish, uh, wish you all the best to you and Team Alpha Coach. Thank you so much for having me and uh, it's honestly like a privilege to be partnering with K-11, one of the best academies in India. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much.